just came on here to be a little transparent, talking about parenting. As a mother, I never, never said that I was the perfect parent. I mean, who is? We're all just winging it. There was never a blueprint or a manual. But I will say this. I am very open-minded and I understand that there's such things as generational curses. And I understand that the way things were then is not the same as, as the way things are now. Every child is different. Every child has different needs and you have to have patience, okay? Now, most of you know that follow me that I have a son that is on the spectrum of autism. And he is five. And the earlier years, I had no idea. I just knew something was a little off and I wanted to find out what it was. So I did the research. I talked to a lot of people. Um, I got him evaluated and boom, we did the evaluation and realized he is indeed on the spectrum. Now, when all of this came to light, I had to take accountability of not knowing what the hell I was doing when it came to raising him. So now I am like, okay, what can we do to help him thrive? How can we move through this process? How can I be the best parent and advocate to make him the best that he can be? One thing for sure, one thing for certain is you gotta have patience. A lot of parents expect for your child to mind you, to not have behaviorals, to be these perfect children, when indeed they have a hard time expressing to you how they really feel or what they're feeling. So thank God for the resources, for the people that have been in my shoes and know how to deal with autistic children because we have been taking some long strides as to how to cope and how to deal with him when he has these good days and bad days. Now I'm realizing that here lately we've been having a lot more good days than it is bad days. Kids gotta have a routine. Kids gotta have structure. Kids need to feel safe and know that whatever emotion that they're displaying that we're not going to ridicule them for, but we're going to give them space to be who they are. And if they're in an energy where, hey, that's probably not a good energy, we're going to come down to their level and we're going to communicate with them and not give them a space to not feel like they can't be themselves. I'm truly understanding my purpose. For years, God have always placed me around children. And I'm thankful for that because a lot of kids do not have that advocacy or those parents that are understanding and open enough to understand their children. And I'm not judging that it's okay. Some people just don't have that gift. But I'm grateful that that gift was placed in me so that I can sit here and share with you guys my journey so that it may help others who indeed are going through the same thing that I'm going through. Is it easy? No, it's not. But every day I look in his little eyes and I have to fight. I have to advocate for him. And we are learning together. And we're going to get through this together. And as I share my journey, I pray that I can help others along with their journey. So that is it. That is all. <laughs>